Welcome back to Out of Bed Podcast. I am here with Mia Markova. I am Gabby Epstein, and we are very excited to have you here. Was that good, guys? That was great. Yeah, hell yeah. I great start. Great that, start. Very that was great. I don't know why we struggle so hard with the intros. I feel like a news reporter. I, I like the intros and the outros, I'm like, well, my voice changes like when you're on the phone. You like, start shaking. Yeah, you know when your voice changes when you try and make a doctor's appointment or yeah. you call someone? It's time to like put on your, your business pants and act like an adult. And it goes like three octaves higher and you get <laughs> off the phone. <laughs> Does it hurt getting veneers? <sighs> yes, I absolutely hated it and I actually wouldn't do it again. Really? I had a really hard time with the veneers. I didn't even need them because I had fine teeth before, um, but I had two baby teeth. And what happened was the sides of my mouth were sloping down because it was uneven and the baby teeth were small. And so I was in and out of braces and doing um, Invisalign, but I could never actually stick with the Invisalign. I can't stick with it. I can't. No, I, I have it, and and it's gross too. Cause it's like I, I don't know, having to wash it every day, and ugh, I, I talk just, with a lisp with. Yeah, I yeah. Fun of that, but like I talk. <laughs> I've had Invisalign for two years now. Mm, have you noticed a difference? No, no, I not didn't at all. notice. I was I was messing with it for about two years, and I didn't notice a difference okay, either. Not trying to trash on Invisalign, but I also don't use them, so that's probably why I don't use them either. But when I was younger, I had like two big front teeth with a gap in the middle, three years of braces with a whole, like, not just normal braces, I had the metal mouth. Oh no. Like I had the Did they, have, they had the little uh, rubber bands. I had the rubber bands. I, r- rubber bands. I had the springs. I had the sharp things on the side which constantly cut the inside of my mouth. Maybe that's why you have a good personality. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I was not cute. It humbled you. I was not cute in middle school. People, people, have this perception of me i was like sweetie i was not prom queen i promise yeah. you that. <laughs> i thought it was cute to get like yellow and green uh braces yeah so you can imagine how that went when i was that age i wanted like little pink ones i thought it'd be cute oh god and then my teeth closed together and then a couple of years ago i started to get gaps back in my teeth because when you don't wear your retainer for 10 years they that's shift. what happens yeah um and now i have a gap back in the middle of my two front teeth but it's cute. It's cute. See, that's that's something that I noticed after I got my veneers that I regret is it's the imperfections that make teeth beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like mine are too perfect now that perfect they too look perfect. like they, I, I think that the dentist did a great job. But to me, they look too close to dentures. And that's just most veneers. Like it's yeah. the little imperfections I think that make it unique and beautiful. So, mm. but you can't go back. <laughs> like I, I don't have much under here. So. Honestly, some people like them, some people don't. Yeah. Some guys like it's it's cute, and mm-hmm. some people comment on YouTube saying fix your teeth. I'm like, I I would fix my teeth if I could be bothered to fix my teeth. I promise you that. Um, I wonder what that guy what lazy. that guy looks like. I'm, honestly, <laughs> like. I'm just too lazy. I put them in this morning for like ten minutes, and they hurt. And I take them out straight away. There's a lot of pain I'll go through for beauty standards and Invisalign is not one of them. I, I yeah, never asked one to us either. Yeah. <laughs> With the well, I like pain for beauty. That's why I like med spa so much. What's med spa? Like um where you would go for your Botox, but also I go for chemical peels, lasers. You like the pain? I do. I I think of it like somebody who will go through a lot of pain to get a tattoo that they really want. I will go through all of this pain to get the firm, beautiful skin I really want. I have one tattoo, and it's a pinky tattoo. It's a matching tattoo with, with one of my girlfriends, and I cried like a baby. I cried like a baby at this tattoo shop on Sunset Boulevard like Can six I see years the tattoo? ago. That made you cry like a baby. Yes. Little smiley face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, like when, when you when you put pinkies together, it looks like they're hugging. Oh, <laughs> like, okay, that's cute. <laughs> and this like fully tattered guy with like his bald head was tattered, his eyelids were tattered. He looked at me and he was like, "You little bitch." <laughs> like I was like, <laughs> "Like bitches and like little baby." I was like, "I get it." But yeah, I cried. So like I I don't like pain. You don't like pain at all. No. Did, did he start doing it? And you instantly regretted it. Like, did you want him to stop? No, I no, I didn't want him to stop. I was like, this just hurts like a motherfucker. Yeah. So everyone who has their full body tattooed, I I could never do that. You know, it's uh funny is 
whenever I have a med spa that I like, I usually will go to it for a couple of years and I move around or I have moved around. So I've, I've switched med spas. They always know me very well. And I'm told by everyone, I'd say the last three that I, I went to that I am the, I have the highest pain tolerance out of anybody they've ever met. Mm. I just go in there I and I, I, I like will that. do things. Uh, I will do things with that anesthetic. If I, I like to have it all done at once and I like to do everything I could possibly do. And if they tell me, oh, hey, we can't use that much numbing on you. It's not safe. I say, do it without the numbing. Oh. <laughs> and I just breathe through it. It's very painful. <laughs> I get why you sleep with the guy on the first night and then you end up in a relationship. I get it. Like <laughs> You don't have a pain threshold. I understand now. This guy is like, yep, this is the one. You know, I actually do. Like, it really hurts. I just mentally can get past it. Hmm. Um, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a baby about it. <laughs> I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> do you, are you bad about getting shots? Oh, yeah. Or your blood drawn? Oh, yeah. Isn't that the worst? I don't even like that. I, I get anxiety. It's anything to do with this little area. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of, but I'll still do it. I'll do it monthly because I like IVs. But that's my that's my thing. I don't like touched. Anyone else's medical issues, them getting blood drawn, graphic photos, I'm fine with. If it's mine, I, I, I will almost faint. I have to lie down. It's a whole ordeal. Get like the butterfly needle. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> you do too? I do too. I have to lay down because I faint every time I get a shot. You do faint? Yeah. Do you eat beforehand? Sometimes I've tried everything. I oh. so when I was a baby, I got a booster shot. I broke the needle on my butt because oh. I was so tense. Oh. So I think it was like a past life thing. And then you traumatized from it. Muscles. What? <laughs> you broke a needle as a baby with your butt. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. You had people tattoo your face on themselves, I right? Did. I had someone last week, a couple of times actually. A couple of times. A couple of times. <laughs> I had someone last week tag me in a photo and send me my face tattooed on their rib cage, not just a little, like a small, cute little token tattoo. Half of their stomach and their rib cage is just my face and my tits. Can I see it? <laughs> I think that that's the biggest oh, compliment. Did you wait? Did, hey, you, no, no, no. did you respond to him? No, because. Scary. I hope we don't trust this man. No, I, I hope it doesn't look like me because it's not a flattering tattoo. I was, like, I was like, oh God, please. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. Wait, that's crazy though. We're pulling it he's up. He's stuck with that for his entire life. Like, what, what is his future wife going to think of something I like will that? Never, I will never let anyone tell me again that men have commitment issues. This, that, that was commitment. This stranger has my whole face tattooed on half his stomach, metafying with commitment. Do you know what I think that was? What? This is my personal opinion. I think... It's big. Oof. It's really big. He's kind of cute. I think that that... <laughs> I, I think that was a grand gesture to get your attention. I think that was a grand gesture. <laughs> 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 this might be the beginning of a beautiful love story. <laughs> I, I don't think he's here, but it, if a man tattooed me on his body and asked me out, I'd have to go on a date. Like, th there is no... Uh, you'd have to go on a I'd date? I'd have to go on a date. If a man That's would... definitely you. Wow. Yeah. It's massive. <laughs> it is It is really big, yeah. It's... You don't know this person, like, at all? No. Wow. I've, I've never communicated with him on DMs, on Instagram, online at all. And he just has my face on half of his stomach for the rest of his life. He thinks it's art too. That's such a, in my opinion, such a compliment. Nobody. I think all of my nipples are in there. Like, I, like, <laughs> I think they are. I've I've only con I've only managed to convince one guy to let me. Well, you know, you just like can I get a tattoo? can I do this? Like let me or let me cross or like, some, what boundaries can I push? Or like can I tattoo my initials on you or something? Wait, you've done that. I have tattooed my instagram handle on a guy's ass on his ass cheek wait did you physically tattoo it yes um with a 50 dollar tattoo gun from ebay this is by the way this do not try this at home was it brand new it wasn't mine i don't know <laughs> this was a while ago but 
um it was like a friend of a friend i think i met him for a couple of hours Mm -hmm. and they had a tattoo gun in the house and i said can i give you a tattoo and he said you can tattoo whatever i want on my ass cheek so i tattooed that can you see it Gabby Epstein. It's, no, it says at Gabby Epstein. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and With Brad. The at. And the, but my handwriting's pretty good, I gonna, right? I was gonna say, actually, you did a good job. I I mean, I personally think I have great handwriting. You, you did it very straight though, but you took up. It's not is that even his ass or is that his entire hip? Because I feel like you took you took up half of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I think he thought I was gonna do it like small and cute or like initials or something. Yeah. And then I just kept going. Oh my goodness. So um I did practice on an orange beforehand, but it didn't go very well. So I was like, fuck it, balls the wall, let's just see how this goes do it live um and i never spoke to him again after this don't know his last name i have no idea i, I mean i hope it's he got it removed but it's pretty big it's yeah and it's pretty expensive it's, it'd to be get. expensive and painful too but honestly i'm just really proud of my head <laughs> If we do i think that if we do live shows for the podcast we should bring tattoo guns i'm sorry that's down. a great idea I am so down. <laughs> just like, to. like Gabby do whatever she wants with whoever is willing. Just sanitary. We have to be. We can't be like. I hope you get an infection people. from this. I had no idea how how to keep a tattoo gun on eBay sanitary. Um, yeah, I almost convinced an ex to let me tattoo my initials. How how old were you? And how old was this guy? I was probably twenty one. I have. He was probably around the same age. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like when you're really young, you're willing to do really dumb shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he did say to me afterwards his girlfriend probably wouldn't like it. <gasps> he had a girlfriend? I didn't know I didn't know him. <laughs> it was, <gasps> I didn't check. It's not your fault. That's his fault. <laughs> um, but that's crazy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucking stoked on it. I think I did a great job. You did a great yeah. job. I think if I submitted this for work, I would be like, you could. Look, this is my first tattoo. It's, it only goes up from here. Tattoo. So guys, if you want me to tattoo you, imagine yeah. how good it could be <laughs> with like a little bit of practice. Yeah. So I remember when I was 13, my mom wouldn't let me get a, a piercing. I wanted my belly button pierced. So I let my friend do it with a sewing needle. A sewing needle. Did you believe and, did it get and, infected? And she did the cartilage with a sewing needle. Can you imagine? That's because so... we had to dig and push because oh. it's thick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it got infected. <laughs> I had to take him out. Did it get, did your ear, like, get... No, no, no. Just just this got infected. And then I had a cheap piece of jewelry um, for the <laughs> belly button piercing. And my I have oh. sensitivity to it. So it eventually like pushed was pushed itself out and was kind of like going forward so i did have to take it out and let everything heal up that's disgusting yeah but it, like was it like, i was so happy right? with it for about two weeks <laughs> oh all God. that pain for nothing I'm, I'm such a hypocrite i'm myself i wouldn't get i didn't get my ears pierced until i was 18 i was just i just didn't want them but i tattoo a guy's ass like tomorrow. yeah they're like you can dig it <laughs> I'm, like, I'm such an enabler yeah. I am that person. I, I can see that. <laughs> you you, just have, you like to see what you can uh, what you can get away with. I know. I think that's always. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> yeah, this, I got though. You. Thank you. I got you. I got, keep getting lipstick on my teeth. Maybe I should do the little. Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's a lot for extra. That clip for extra. Did that. Um, Good clip. Good clip. <laughs> the fingers looking. Yeah, put that on Patreon. Um, <laughs> I'm just putting it all over the mic now. <laughs> it's impressive you did cursive. Most most people don't know how to do cursive. Like they don't teach it in schools no more. Uh, Wait, I, really? I was yeah. the first in my class to get my pen license when I was in fifth grade. <laughs> I pride myself on wow. my handwriting. Thank you, Lane. Um, I, but I, I traced it out as a as a video of me doing it. Mm. with my wild curly hair when I was 21 and I, I took my time I, it's a lot of pride you cared you really cared mm-hmm. you wanted to do the best possible job that you could yes I this was gonna be on someone's body for the rest of their life yeah it had to be perfection and you know what Mia it was it was <laughs> it was <perfection. laughs> 
<laughs> um, I agree. But I've I've always been an enabler. Like I will I will I'll be like, do this, do this. When and me, I'm like the one to take a step back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing that to me. What are you talking about? This is another one. Wait, do you ask them to do this? No. I, how would I ask? This is a stranger. Like, I don't... Why do you look like you have a puppy dog nose in this one? <laughs> do they, do they model it off the Snapchat filter? <laughs> yeah, this, this guy got my face tattooed on his arm. I don't... Is it like a teardrop? I don't know what the... You're a clown, yeah. right? I'm a clown? Yeah. Okay. You're a clown. And I think it says love above my eyebrow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, huge compliment. Thank you. Yeah, that's like a style. I want to say like, like a Hispanic thing. I think whoever did it did a really Cholo good style. Job. Cholo th- style says John. I think this is, is better. Is Cholo than the other okay one. to say, or is that offensive? I don't know. I think it's offensive. I really don't know either. But I don't mean yellow anyway. The only person of color in here is the one who said it. So I. <laughs> I- <laughs> as long as we didn't say it to white girls, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> If, if minority says about another minority, that's fine. And then ask, yeah, other. I'm genuinely asking a question. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, no, yeah, this is some guy's fucking bicep, I guess. Just do you, you know. when you see these things, do you reach out to them? Do you comment back? Do you give them any sort of recognition for all of their hard work? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's spat as well. Yes. If if a dude wants to tattoo my face on his body, I. I mean, I'll fucking, I'll get on FaceTime with him. Yeah. I'm like, what Aww. is this? Are you kidding me? Sometimes I can't get a text back and this guy wants my face on his, on him forever. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting a FaceTime for sure. <laughs> I had seen, I forget which um, social media personality it was, but it was a girl and she was pretty big. Someone had tattooed a picture of her face on them and she had commented, this is hideous. Whoever did this was a bad job. <laughs> And she hated uh, it. She didn't hate that they did it. She said, bad job. <laughs> I mean, even if it was bad. You shouldn't say no, it. No. It's, it's done. Yeah. You know, it's, it's there forever. The ink is set in. There is no redo. If it was like a stencil, you could be like, hey, maybe I changed this. Yeah. If ink is in someone's body of your face, I, I'm like, that's the best thing I've ever seen my whole life. Can it actually, can they actually get rid of it with a laser? Does Will it go away completely over time? I've never had any any tattoos lasered off, but I think it can, but it's super expensive and it takes a really long time and it's super painful. I've heard, yeah. And I, I don't think it goes away forever. I think it's like there's a mark. It, it's not like you have you can't, completely clean skin again. Okay. So it's I, usually just to lighten it so people can sometimes go over it with something else, right? Yeah. I think, um, I think people lighten it and then change it to something else most of the time i have microblading and i really i want to get rid of it well micro yeah microblading it's the superficial tattoo and Mm -hmm. um when i was looking into getting it i was reading that it would only last a couple years it was temporary um (laughs) that's not the case and for anyone who wants to get it like i think that it can be great but it does fade like a normal tattoo. The color will fade and it fades to something grayish, mm-hmm. um, which is very unattractive. And then I think over time, most people that I know, if you're not getting the regular touch ups, which can leave scars and everything over time, like I don't think you can do this forever, um, the hair strokes will start to blend together. So it's just a shadow, a gray shadow over time. Have you seen bad jobs of this? I've oh. seen. Some I terrible do. microblading. I feel so eyebrow tattoos, bad. and it's on your face. Yeah, and it's gonna—it's so hard to get rid of because people will try the lasers, and usually, <gasps> oh, oh no, I'm not trying to laugh. Horrible. I'm not trying to laugh. But this is wait, that can't be real. That can't be real. That it has is. oh, sweetheart, it is. That has no, that has <laughs> to be no. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that to her? Oh, no. And okay, this is so much worse than a bad tattoo on your body. Like I have, I know people who have bad tattoos, and you could. Oh, she was she burned. She's burned. Oh, that might have been her using a laser and getting burned or something. She had a really bad reaction. Oh my god! I I I have seen ones where like people have had their eyebrows tattooed, not where their hair naturally grows. So the tattoo goes like this. Yeah. But their eyebrow is like down here, and they have two eyebrows. 
I've seen that too. Eyebrows. They have to shave it off. Eyebrows. It's so bad. And it's the first thing anyone sees. Like if you have good eyebrows or bad eyebrows, it's the, pretty much the first thing you notice about someone. Yeah, 100%. It changes your entire face. And there's nothing. You can't put on a t-shirt. Like you can't wear long pants if you get like a, a shitty ass ankle tattoo. It's you also know? really hard to get rid of because the laser can scar um, and it can also kill the hair oh, growth. The and I was using the Celine solution where they use a tattoo gun with like a, I think it's a salt Celine solution, something like that. And they tattoo it into the eyebrow and then it scabs over and you have to wait for the scab to fall off in a couple of weeks. And I've done that three times already and I hardly see anything. So I feel like I have to do another eight at least to really see a difference. Oh my God, I'm, just, I'm looking, there's, so, there's some bad ones. Oh my God, the things we do. I don't, I feel like whoever has done this to these people, like that's, that that can't, yeah, that, well, that can't actually be a professional, in my opinion. That must be somebody just practicing on her, like a friend, mm. like kind of like, pra- kind of like what you do to men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is like on this guy's ass cheek. It's, it's, it's literally this big, but at least it's not on his fucking face. Yeah, put, like Gabby Epstein on his forehead on his fucking ass cheek. You might though. You know, You're like maybe just the initials. I mean, how like, often do you actually see a guy's ass cheek? Not very often. I'm trying to think about exploiting. But the only the person who matters the cheek. most does see it. The person who sees it is going to like. Or dislike <laughs> your name there the most. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, just, I'm just saying, it's, it's not like our asses. You know, yeah, like they're, they're like not it. Or I whatever. agree. And he, it's not his money maker either. <laughs> no, but I've, ne- I've never been like to an ex boyfriend, like, turn around, I want to see your ass. <laughs> 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 like, not once. Not really? one time. Have I ever, like, you know? Did he have a flat ass? Are you into guys' asses? I think they're cute. I mean, I think they're cute. Not all of them. Like, they're not. They're- <laughs> I, yeah, I think it was like a cute ass. It's a cute ass. It's but, a cute ass, yeah. But I'm not like, baby, let me... Let me see that thing. See that <laughs> <laughs> you know? But if it did have another girl's name on it, that would be mm. such a deal breaker for w- me. Would it? Yes. If a guy has... If a guy had another girl's name on his ass... What about his body in general? Immediately, no. Yep. Immediately, no. What? What if he was married before? Get that shit lays it off. But what if before he's what if come. he's scared of the pain? He should more scared of me than he is <laughs> the pain of a laser. I tell you that, Mia, and ex boyfriends will corroborate that statement. Yeah. I am so much more scary. I don't know. I <laughs> have I've laser yet to tattoo that. removal. <laughs> you don't believe me? Uh uh-uh. uh. So I had my ex boyfriend tell me I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> My ex boyfriend told me that serving in Iraq was like Cabo compared to dating me. <laughs> what? But what did you do? I don't think it was one thing, maybe like four years. He deserved it, by the way. He did deserve it. But um I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually I I thought I was a delight, to be honest, guys. But Yeah. Yeah. So if if he had another girl's name tattooed on him. I've been told by someone who has a lot of experience with uh, shitty surroundings. Mm. I'm very curious why he said this. Is it is I it a jealousy know. thing? Are you a je- do you get jealous? No, I'm not a jealous no. person. Do mm. you scream? Are you are you do you like no? I'm when you a, give I'm, insults, I'm so much worse. When I you give me insults, silent. do you go for like the jugular? Mm. Are you one of those? <laughs> I will, oh my God, I have a really funny story too about when you said jugular, which I'll say after this. <laughs> okay. Um, I, <laughs> no, I, I won't. I'm the opposite. I'll go completely silent and I'll just, I'll just become a mute mm-hmm. and I just, I won't, I won't, I won't scream. I won't shout, which I've been told is so much worse. It's emotional torture. I will just not say anything <laughs> and just c- completely ghost, not say a word, just disappear and like not say anything. If you live, just, with, if you live with them, um, oh, just it's just like silent treatment, I think. For how long? How? What do you do to deserve it? Depends. There's, it's you know, it's like a prison sentence. What did yeah. you do? How this long is, is the is the punishment? <laughs> but it's I'm a scale. A, I'm I'm not a scream. I can't scream. I'm not yeah. a yeller. I'm not. A, I, I just I can't fight with people. 
I, I can't do it. I'll I, just be like, okay, bye. And that's mm. it. I can I can fight. You can I, fight? I can for sure fight. I fought with my ex-husband the most, um, who I married when I was 21. Those fights were really bad. Really? Oh, yeah. We were really toxic to each other. And it was physical. It, it, was, mm. a, it was really bad. But, like, I think that... I, can I say that fuck? Yeah. Mm. Fuck face was my favorite word to call him. <laughs> <laughs> I would literally just walk in, flip him off. I hate you, fuck face. <laughs> like, yeah, that was a, uh, and the, just the things that we would say to each I other. I hate you, fuck face. I hate you, fuck face. You're a Oh fuck my face. God. Yeah. He was a, he was a bad boy though. That was a bad husband. And also, also I will say he was the type that I was already combative in my young years. He was eight years older than me and he was also combative very combative so it's like two mm. like fires just yeah and neither one of, exactly neither one of us were going to back down because we both had that really bad temper i've since like i I'm, I'm actually so good during arguments now like I, i've i don't lose my temper i don't get physical i don't do anything like that um i'm i'm very good at talking it through but if they raise their voice, I start raising my voice. Mm. <laughs> okay, he- here's what I do. I'll I'll come at you. So say I'm upset about something. Mm-hmm. I'll come I'll come at you as mature and respectful as possible mm-hmm. to try to be heard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the second I'm met with them not being the best version of themselves, I say fuck it all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it all. Fuck it all. Burn it down. Yep. I'm going to burn the house down. Like, you don't want to try. I'm not trying either. (laughs) I talk such a big game. Like, I will say these things to my friends. Um, I'll be like, I'm going to fucking burn his house. I'm kidding. I'm going to burn his house down. I'm going to do this. I'm going to slash his tires. And when it actually comes down to it, I don't want any of that smoke. Yeah. I don't want any of that smoke. And I just can't really be bothered. Like, I, I switch off mentally. And if someone... Which I think, which I think hurts more, but there's like a switch in my brain. It's like on or off, and when I don't care enough anymore, I just can't be bothered. Do you actually switch off? Yeah. So you're not thinking about it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I can compartmentalize so easily. Like I'll be upset for like a day, and then I just something in my brain just like switches, and there's like no coming back from it. Like I've, I found. With like an ex-boyfriend, I found things in a phone where girls probably would have burnt his house down. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were living together in the time. And he was away. He was out of town for a couple of days. And I took 24 hours. I didn't say anything to him. I spoke to him as normal. I really... <laughs> this would be probably being there. He was away. He had no idea that I knew anything. Mm-hmm. In 24 hours, I packed up everything he owned in our apartment put it in his second car, which is downstairs in the parking lot, got his name off the lease, got the locks changed, and he came back 48 hours later. His key didn't work. And I was like, you don't live here anymore. Oof. And that was it. That's and there was no other it, discussion. And I was like, everything's in the car. Yeah. Your keys like your keys are like hidden on top of the tire. Everything you own is in there. I didn't burn anything. I didn't want to keep anything yeah. of his. It's like your name's on the lease. Key doesn't work. Like, I... Uh, I'll see you never. Yeah. Mm. And that was it. And that was the craziest thing I've ever done. That's the way to do it, though. I just, I, yeah, something in my brain switches off. and It's not worth the mental energy. Because at that point, they've they've hurt you and you've also decided they're not worth it. They're not worth it anymore. It's time to move on and live your life. I think when men need to understand this if a woman is like blowing up your phone and sending you paragraphs we care you still have a chance when we don't Mm. care anymore we're we're just done yep like there's no we aren't crazy if a woman's like acting crazy over you she likes you or Mm. loves you and she wants to try I don't say try and make it work but there's like still love and passion there yeah when you're checked out you just you don't you give can't a be shit. bothered that, when a woman that's the worst and there actually is no coming back from it when a woman's like sending you okay as a reply mm. instead of paragraphs you're toast my man Wait, you're, you're... <laughs> but do you do that do you do that as a punishment during fights that aren't that bad like say if it's not a relationship ending fight 
and you're giving them the silent treatment. Are you responding that way to scare them? And are you no, also I never not want to scare. About it? I never want to scare somebody. I would just, I just, I won't have a fight. I'll just be like, okay, cool heads prevail. We'll talk about it when we both can think about it. I won't just yeah. send like Kate to scare somebody. And then I'll like sit down and have a discussion with somebody. But I'm, I'm never going to yell. That's responsible. Or, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the responsible way to do it. Yeah. I, I'll just. I'm, I try to be that way. <laughs> so once a month. I PMS like (laughs) 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 once a month I PMS and it's really bad like I don't I don't actually feel like myself Mm -hmm. I'm the angriest little thing in the world um and I love to break up with my boyfriend (laughs) on something oh my god (laughs) he's like yep okay uh, it's been 28 days it's time for our regularly scheduled breakup yep yep yep. he'll stop and be like When's your period coming? <laughs> and I'll look at it after like I'm trying to break up with him. I'm like, oh shit, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> how does this man not have the Flow app downloaded on his phone by now? He should have premium membership. I agree. If I was a dude, if I, honestly, I would be such. I would be such a good dude. Like I would be so on top of my shit. I'd be like, I'd have the flow up. I have the premium membership. I would have like your symptoms. Okay, I'm bi- I'd be like, okay, my girl's gonna be fucking cranky today. She's gonna have cramps. Mm-hmm. She's gonna be like, she's gonna be moody as fuck. Yeah. Um, let me just you know, get her uh, a heat pack and like a little chocolate. I'm gonna bring her some tea and I'm gonna like rub her back. Yeah. Say nice things. Do you know oh, how honey, far that would look, go? You look so thin today. Like, yes. have you been working out? In, in the same way that we try and cheer them up after their fucking fantasy football team doesn't win. Just, you know, once a month, just know when we're going to be a little bit, you know, more unhinged than usual. It's true. It'll go far. It'll it's- go so far. I'd be so organized as a man. It's I, so I easy. Like- and I feel like most men actually go the opposite way. Where uh, when a woman starts acting a certain way because of her period, they love to say, wow, you're crazy. Oh my God, when's your period going to start? They do the opposite of <laughs> what would benefit them. And it's every single month and they don't learn their lesson. <laughs> if a man comes out- Are you guilty of that? Oh yeah, big time, <laughs> big time. Big time. It's Why? so funny because if you just like thought with an outside perspective mm-hmm. without putting your ego or your emotions, it's like, wait, I can control this. Which I can is- control the narrative. I mean, take yeah. like, in this, just take three seconds and say, how would she react if I call her crazy right now? Because you know, it's that's like saying, Again, I'm just going to use fantasy football or football and whatever sport it is or video games. Mm. You know, a guy's fantasy football team loses and you say, what's the big deal? They're not going to be happy with that, right? Well, then we start popping up. You're invalidating our feelings. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It'd be so easy to be a guy. Honestly, men are so lucky. I think about it all the time. Like, so, uh, what, two two to three weeks out of the month, we're just high on hormones? Yeah, it sucks. It does suck. Mm -hmm. Because we're actually not ourselves. Mm-hmm. Like when I'm PMSing, I'm actually not in my right state of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I am a little unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's 50% of y'all's m- month for the, month with the it, before well, and after the lead up. It is because we start ovulating <laughs> two weeks in. It's a whole thing. Yeah. It's a whole thing. It's so sad. I also can't trust what I'm saying when I'm ovulating either because I'm like, I love you. Because. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's 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 my body. It's not me. And then the ovulation wears, wears off, and I'm like, yeah. Hormones are fun. I know. I I almost feel like the partners have it worse than we do. I I say men are so lucky, but not if they're in relationships. They're mm. they're right there with us. <laughs> Just in the trenches. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. They get the benefits of us, so it's fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Lane, yes. you get all the benefits of your beautiful wife. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. You're a very lucky man. I do. I yearn for like the conflict though sometimes. Do you? To be you like what? a little shit, you know, and with kind of conflict? antagonize a little bit. <laughs> yeah, with conflict. I, I yearn for the conflict a little bit. That's kind of the sign of a healthy relationship to me that it's not there. You have to create Make it sometimes. Yeah. yeah. To keep it spicy. Yeah, sometimes I miss the bad relationships. What? A little bit. Why? I don't know. Just the yelling, the conflict, the fun of it. What? Just a little bit, though. Not if it's the whole thing. 
I love, I prefer it when we're all golden retrievers. <laughs> oh my God. And everything is happy and there's never any conflict. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, that's how I like me it. Me too. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't even like bad boys. I'm like, you're neither. a fucking asshole. Neither. Just be sweet all the time and I will love you and stay forever. I don't I don't <laughs> understand why men have this. They ha- they call other men simps who would love their girlfriend or their yeah. wife or their partner. I'm like, that's what we want. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with being yeah. a simp. Like, you be a simp. I'll be a simp to you too. I'll think you're the greatest man that walks this planet. Like I, that, I have I have no interest in bad boys at all. I agree. I love I love when men sim. That's what I look for as well. No, I will not. say though, in their defense, not all women look for that. But I I think I I mean, women who don't, it's usually more toxic ones. Agreed. Yeah. And and uh, but I do think as well sometimes when somebody is too easygoing and they're with the wrong person they're going to get walked all over i don't think you have to be easygoing i think you just have to if you like someone show it or be interested be into the person you're with yeah and make an effort yeah i mean even with like flirting guys this thing i have recently discovered called negging do you know what negging is oh, yeah. negging? is that a, is that a british phrase negging is it i, don't know, I think british. so What's the definition of, of like the actual definition? It's like I when feel they like give you a backhand a compliment. I th- Here we go. Uh, insult or undermine. Yeah, this is a the belief that diminishes self confidence. Oh, will I make have, them more receptive to sexual advances. Oh, I hate when men do that. I have just discovered this, and I had a guy say something to me a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, I'm not into nagging. And that's it. And then that was the end of our conversation. Never replied to him again. I was like, this isn't going to work on me. What did he say to you? Uh, let me look it up. I, I, I can't remember my memory. I, I have an eye for when men do this, e- my, either on purpose or um, subconsciously. Like, I i didn't know the name of it, but I'm always like, are you trying to tear me down to bring mm. me to your level? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that, is that Neg. What this is here? Yeah. I didn't realize Neg had a, like a sexual advances like thing associated with it. Yeah, That's guys, wild. guys will use it in flirting. I'm like, that doesn't work. What did he say to you? Did you um, find I, it? I couldn't. No? I couldn't oh, find okay. it. But I've, I've had guys say things like, "Oh, you just like you just look okay." Also, like in a reply to like an Instagram story or something, or they're like, "Oh, like not the best, whatever it is." Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> no. Just, just be like, hey, you you look love, you look beautiful, you look so pretty. In- that would work. Yeah, they're just in your be- DMs because they're attracted to you. Just be nice. They or- think that that's gonna work. That you're gonna want to chase them because they're cool or something like. Or that. Or saying like, I don't, I don't like it when you wear like when you wear makeup or you know, I don't like it when you wear whatever it is. I'm like, just if you say I look pretty, you're probably gonna get lucky. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's I don't know what this new thing is. It's like. Negging a backhand and compliment. Pick I don't. Some girls must like it. I mean, does it work on some people? Maybe it doesn't work on me. Maybe when they're younger. Do you never oh, maybe anyone? maybe more insecure women who don't know their worth. Maybe they like it. I don't know. I'm like the women not being like being told they're pretty or they look good. No, they do. I I don't get it. I remember. Yeah, it was like a big thing with pickup artists, right? And it was like, oh, don't say anything nice to her. You know, that that was like a Who whole thing in like 2010 advice? movement. These pickup artist dudes. Those guys? Mm-hmm. Why is James Franco there? Why Why is James Franco there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Too. Wait, the guy? Did he play him wait. in a movie? Oh, he pro- yes, he's guys? movie the game movie adaptation. So wait, the, the guy in the fluffy hat, that's the guy giving this advice? <laughs> yes. And men, I'm assuming, are paying to listen to this man talk about how to get pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is insane. That's this is nuts. <laughs> yeah. His name was mystery. His name was mystery, John. <laughs> His name was mystery. Yeah, and these guys like their clout is based on how many kisses they get, right? They talk about how many kisses they get. No. You know what? <laughs> Any man who paid for a service from this individual should not be allowed to vote. They're, like truly, they should not be allowed to have a say in how this country is run because they clearly have two rocks as brain cells. <laughs> this is this insane. I'm sorry, but that's insane. Mm-hmm. You know what I think about when I hear stuff like that? I think 
what would this man's relationship be? Because it's never going to be anything actually healthy and real if that's really how he's treating women in his life, which is sad because I think that when you truly love somebody, it's actually a beautiful thing. And it's one of like the things that make us like the most fulfilled in life. I'm, so uh, I'm just, in, I'm I feel just, bad I'm just for staring him. at his like eyeliner and in, in the, the waterline. He does it so much better than I do. <laughs> like truly i hate plugs that's an instant like it's not even the fluffy hat i can't mm. and these hot necklace kill yeah. me now this was 2010 well that's like the era i would say where like these pickup artists were big and there was this book called the game right oh i remember the game yeah the game anytime a man mentions that they read the game i'm like loser mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah is that a book? Yeah, so the game is a is a book. I haven't read it, but I've had many men quote it to me, and it's about how best to manipulate and pick up women. Shut the fuck mm-hmm. up. The art of seduction. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna who's, read this. Who's book. the author again? Mm. Neil Strauss. Neil Strauss. That's right. That's right. That's We're gonna right. mention my lovely ex boyfriend again. I want to stop mentioning him because he's not really <laughs> worth it, but. He is friends with Neil Strauss, and he mm. loved this book. Mm. That's cool. loser. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, is, <laughs> wait is, is this the guy who told you that you look better from the back than the front? Yeah. I, I fucking think he, hate that guy. I think he genuinely believed it, though, if I'm being honest. I don't think he was doing that to um, hurt my feelings. I think he genuinely thought I did, which meh, it that is, is it wild. Is what it is. Is there a female version of the game? The secret. <laughs> <laughs> the what? secret oh no <laughs> what the, the secret the manifestation book <laughs> that's what I'm like the secret is like manifestation of life in general I feel like women think that way more of generally overall and most men are just thinking okay woman how do I get yeah. woman yeah I know, I th- and that's their form of manifestation yeah I don't think so. I think the the female equivalent is like the sprinkle sprinkle lady on TikTok have you seen her no mm-hmm. No. How am I the least online and you all live under a rock? Sprinkle, sprinkle, lady. sprinkle, sprinkle, lady. Have you heard of her? No, I haven't. She's this lady on TikTok who kind of encourages women to marry for the lifestyle instead of love. Mm. Okay. And um, this lady, you haven't, you haven't seen the her videos? lifestyle instead of love. Yeah. You haven't seen her on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram Not or anything? Once. She's she's viral on TikTok every day, and she's called the sprinkle the sprinkle lady because she says she's like. Get that bag, sprinkle, sprinkle. That's a good comparison because yeah. it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. I have never been that person, but I probably could have saved a lot of heartbreak if I was that person. I'm, I'm not that person either. <laughs> I, I'm not at all. But this, this would have to be the female equivalent of that. That is, yeah. I that think. was, a, that was a really good comparison. Just, what, what do you think of the, the things that she has to say? Do you think there's any sort of truth to it? not totally but I think it's like anything it's like taking it with a grain of salt and maybe like a little bit of balance like Mm -hmm. there's a few things that she says like you know where to meet high value men etc etc because you could fall in love with them too you never know yeah and I I think having you know not dating someone who's unemployed Mm -hmm. um and not making an effort to further themselves in their lifestyle and career if you want a different kind of life it's not really going to add up yeah yeah. So that's just kind of common sense. But this would have to be the female equivalent. I'm going to send you some TikTok videos because she is she's like viral. Her videos are viral every day. I like her. I like her already. Mm-hmm. It's not my style, but I do like her. I, I like when people have um, different opinions to me. Because Let me ask you guys a question. Would you rather have a loyal broke partner or a cheating partner with money? Loyal broke partner. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. Like I, that's that's not even a question. Yeah. Even if I didn't have money. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that might change things. <laughs> what do you, how do you feel about your partner going to hang out with someone and you know that they might have bigger intentions? Bigger intentions? Like they like your partner, but your partner is, is to, totally neutral, but you know that other person is on to something. Oh, like a, the other sex? Yeah. I think that that's... Friends, but just a friend. Yeah. Just a friend. But not really just... But not really. You know it. You know what they want. You the know. Sad, they're waiting for the day... Exactly. ...that you break up. Yes. And they're going to be the shoulder to cry on. Yes. <laughs> 
Um, I think that it's it's all about like boundaries, whatever the person's comfortable with. Um, if somebody says, hey, like, I trust you. I trust you. This makes me uncomfortable. Um, but you can do it anyway. Or if they say this makes me uncomfortable, please don't do this. I think that they have every right to say that. Mm hmm. Especially yeah. when the person makes it obvious. If they're really just a friend and there's no weirdness has ever happened, then I don't think they have a right to say anything. Yeah. I think whatever's like a two-way street, because I've definitely like been friends with guys and I've had boyfriends say to me, this makes me uncomfortable. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I wouldn't want to be in that position. Yeah. yeah. If the situation was reversed, I think if you wouldn't want to be in that position, if the circumstances were the other way around mm -hmm. and then that's what you have to accept or be comfortable with yeah i, um, I agree because yeah i've had boyfriends say to me i don't you know you're really this is like a really good guy friend you guys hang out a lot like i think he likes you i'm like okay like i i don't know maybe guys can pick up on that better than i can if this makes you uncomfortable though which is the most important thing you're the most important person in my mm -hmm. life so if it makes you uncomfortable then i won't do it yeah. You know, and like I would expect the same if I said something to them about a girlfriend. It hasn't really happened. I haven't really dated guys with like a lot of girlfriends, but I've had boyfriends say something to me about guy friends. And honestly, every time they were right. Yeah, 100%. Like they were right. Like they, I, yeah. at the time, you're like, oh, no, he's just a friend. And maybe men are different to women. They are different to women in this respect. I have guy friends who I just look at as guy friends. I think women can have guy friends. Um, I think that men, if it's an attractive woman, they always want to sleep with them. So yeah, I was going to ask that. Do you do you mm -hmm. think men and women can just be friends? Yeah, if they're not attracted to each other. Yeah. I. If they're not attracted to each other. But, 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 so but yeah. I, I have, <laughs> I have a friend who is 1000% attracted to me. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 1000 percent sure on it. But I know. So the reason that I'm comfortable and even my significant other is comfortable is because he also knows that I'm like strangely very honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I I'm not the he already knows I'm not the type that can lie. Like I yeah. it, we, we said earlier like yeah. I have a guilty conscience. I know I don't cross boundaries and I would never in a million years go there. Mm -hmm. Like I just wouldn't be able to. So I'm very comfortable even if I think that most guys, if I ended up being friends with them, would be attracted to me. Mm -hmm. So I compartmentalize and I'm like, no, we're just going to have the actual friend aspect. I'm going to give you advice on your girlfriends mm -hmm. and we can like watch movies and stuff and, and you know, talk about things that we want to talk about. To wrap this episode, we had a very nice text message okay. um, come in. I'll read it out to y'all. I thought it, uh, it kind of fits what we're talking about here. Hello, friends. I started seeing my massage therapist after she gave me her card, and we've been having text. Having text. We've been having text, and we're on fire chemically. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to close the deal, but I'm honestly too stoked right now that she's had a crush on me for over a year since I've been her client. Big love, ladies. Thanks for reading. Aww. Do you have, close the deal as in sex or close the deal as in... Relation? Maybe both. Maybe both. That's I feel like... Future if, wife. They, yeah, if they've been texting, then mm -hmm. like it's going to lead to one or the other and she's had a crush on him. I was going to say, if she has a crush on him for over a year... And they're texting. And they're texting because I'll have a crush and then once it fills us out, it's gone. Yeah. Like it's it's done. Hundred percent. Yeah. I'm I'm that chapter. I have like a crush on one person at a time. Once the chapter is closed, it doesn't read. You're over I, it. I'm just I'm over it to mm -hmm. be honest. Um, but if you have a crush on someone for over a year, that's like so easy. You don't know how you're gonna close the deal. I'll tell you. You ask her out to dinner, mm -hmm. and you make a move. You kiss her. She'll accept the kiss. Like she will. She'll want to go to dinner. I was <laughs> <laughs> she wants to her and take it slow. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, don't kiss her and take it slow. Wait, on the first date? Yes. Oh, she'll think he doesn't like her. She's waited a year for this guy. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe <laughs> she's waited a year. Maybe she's waited a year. I don't like when guys kiss me on the first date. But do, but should they attempt? No. 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 It's no. I don't. I don't want you to try and kiss me on the first. You know, date. they could always ask. I'm gonna say no. May I kiss you? I'm gonna say. But eh, but are you tonight. upset? If they ask, no, I'm more upset if they try. You. Okay, so may mm. I kiss you? Is the route to to go? Like, like that's cute too. Not on the first date. Oh I, goodness. I, okay, <laughs> depends how well I know them, but I just, I just want to, 
I don't want to feel like you're pressuring me for anything physical on the first date. What if you've had a crush on them for over a year? I can't really. Like, I'm trying to. And you've given them multiple massages. <laughs> I mean, I guess actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Like, she's like, she's actually that's that's way that's so much more intimate than a kiss. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's all over reason. his body already. Yeah, she knows she's it. Back, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Just get <laughs> just get there. Just like yeah. Just ask her permission it. because me too. Yeah. And then <laughs> may I and then just grab you? her and kiss her if she says yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not like a little pansy ass kiss. Just grab her. Just and scratch it's easy. everything else I said. Just ask her out to dinner. Dinner's perfect. We're so easy. Like, to please. Yeah, yeah. Just feed us, pick us up, open car doors. Pay mm. for dinner. Is, pay for dinner. That is, I love when men open car doors. And even if she fights <gasps> you to pay for the bill, don't let her do it. No. It's just, you know, listen to us whenever we speak, except when we try and pay the bill. The car doors are really nice. I Also, the chair, when they pull up the chair. Mm. It's so easy because it's so rare these days for a guy to do these things mm-hmm. that we swoon we yeah. literally swoon and it's not even things that you have to pay a lot you have to pay money for yeah Just open a fucking car door man like, yep and we'll be so impressed and we'll tell all our friends yeah just be a gentleman yeah I, that's so that's so much rarer these days and it's so much more impressive hmm. can it go too far chivalry Simping. Yeah. I, I think they could be annoying about it. I mean, yeah, I've had... It, it depends. I, I I think that, like, crosses the line of, like... If it's genuine word? or over the top. Mm-hmm. If it's more, like, just harassment. Mm. Like, check in every day on, like, text or call, but then don't be mad if someone doesn't reply in 20 minutes. I've had that, too. You know? Guys go too far the other way. Yeah, but that's not being a gentleman. No, that's just I, I, being I think, insecure. Yeah, I, I think with like gentlemanly things, mm. it's it's. I think ninety nine point nine percent of women appreciate those things. I can't. I've mm. never met a woman who's like he opened my car door for me. He pulled out the chair. He offered to hold my jacket. How? What would be going too far? I was such a nerd in high school, like big time, and I obsessed over one girl, and I was in love with her. Mm-hmm. And I went, I feel like I went too far. I like, made her a lot of mixtapes with my vocals in between each song, explaining <laughs> why. Oh, no. Like, literally, like, jacket on that? the ground over the puddle type. Nerd. Like, okay, yeah. He, but, oh, you did go too On far. purpose, yeah. No, like Michael Scott in the office. Oh, yes, 100%. Like, okay, yeah. Big time. Like, yeah. Um, when he date was it? Oh, was that's it so sweet, though. Yeah. Oh, wait, you know the episode of The Office? <laughs> when, <laughs> I, I yeah. when he watched The Office. Yeah. Yes. You mean when he starts to date Carol and he photoshops his photo mm-hmm. on her ex husband with their family photos? That would be going too far. Yeah. Okay. No, so you can't go too far. You can't go. Actually, you know what's funny? You were young. <laughs> I but was, um, yeah. it, when I was young and when I was a teenager, there was a kid that I had met. And I wasn't interested in him at all. There was nothing about him I was interested in. But I was friendly with him. It was when I was going to get my motorcycle license. I had to take the driving course. You're cool as fuck. Whoa. And I, uh, <laughs> um, and I, I had met him there. I think I was 16 or 17. But we had hung out and we had rode them around like our neighborhood together. Because yeah. I had a little 215. It was like nothing. Um and I was just like, okay, cool, a new friend. Next thing I know, months later, I get this message on Facebook about how he had lost all of this weight to be worthy of me and mm. how he s- sits up at night thinking of me. That's and all of these things. And he had actually came to my house and he left a picture um, that he had sketched of me and my face on my door. That's doorknob. a stalker, Mia. That's, on That's what I said. Yeah. That's a stalker. That's what I said. And I, I messaged him back and I was like, you, this is fucking creepy. That's Don't not- ever contact me again. That's not That's being a gentleman. And That's I got chewed out by his sister who was mm. like, you broke his little heart and I was Aww. like he scared me you saved him from a felony <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know if I mean, he came a felony, to my house. but you saved, you saved him from misdemeanor at least I, I taught at him at least I a misdemeanor him boundaries okay someone had to because if, if, I, if I had a brother doing that I'd be like you fucking weirdo yes yeah. Like, yeah do not sketch a photo of a girl who is not into you I wonder <laughs> I wonder if that's she was I wonder fuck. if she was the one who drove him that's, to that's, go drop it that's off. not a gentleman <laughs> I feel like I've always been like such a romantic though yeah like I've had like a guy like write like I'm sorry outside my 
bedroom oh. with like pebbles or rocks no or whatever. Way, no when I was like way. 17, I was wow. like, wow. I was like, how do girls hate this? Like, I'm like, I fucking simple day. You <laughs> yeah. Me? Jesus Christ. Can you just hold up a radio, please? Well, they, there you have it. Simpton's yeah. good. Seriously. Simpton's okay. Like, like it's just so easy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Radio, pebbles, fucking boombox, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Say anything, stop. An iPhone now, it's just like a guy's just outside like this. Yep. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Listening to music. A love song. Playing Babylon, you know? just. <laughs> Would it ever make you uncomfortable? Would you ever feel awkward and kind of like cringe? Or do you think you'll always be like, this is sweet, I it's, like it? It depends. I've, I've had a guy do that who I wasn't into. Yeah. And he would like send things to my house that I wasn't into. Um, and I think it like the, the first time I was like, that's sweet, you know, thank you very much. Second time I was like, it's thank you, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. no thank you third time i was like you gotta stop yeah <laughs> so um but but i think that's like not being self-aware of social cues as well yeah i would never ever be like rude or anything if a guy did something romantic or bold yeah of course it's you just don't like wanna, you, you want to build going. their confidence not very for sure but I, I think that's like if you keep going that's just like a complete lack of self-awareness and social cues yeah, yeah. and like borders and it goes into like stalker territory mm-hmm. lane <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've, 15 year old lane yeah 15 year old lane was almost stalker territory for sure <laughs> the little yeah. Hidden. Did how you... did this mixtape get under my pillow have you ever seen Wait. over a guy like that <laughs> no Woof. let me think let me think like what, what? what's the most romantic thing you've done for a man oh good question <laughs> okay, hold on. I don't um um <laughs> Yeah, if we're on one of those bad podcasts with like 10 people with the 10 girls around, they'd be like, what What do you bring to the table? <laughs> oh, yeah. It wasn't, meant to, it wasn't meant to be a question like that. I, no, no, it's okay. I, I don't think I, not a lot. Neither. <laughs> I don't think, I think I just expect it. And then I'm, I'm this is going to sound really bad, but I think you're going to agree with me. I expect them to do it and then me to react adorably. <laughs> you <laughs> are adorable. <laughs> you are adorable. <laughs> and that's, that's me showing my romance eyes. I'm reacting adorably to your romantic gesture. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's, that's, it's, it's, I think it's men's jobs. I, th- I like, I like that gender stereotype. I, I like that too. No one else too. has to agree with me. For me personally, that's what I like. Yeah, of course. I'm mm-hmm. the I'm the same way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I don't I, I would feel weird doing anything romantic. I don't know. I also don't think I'm uh, much of a I'm not much of a talker. Like I, I don't give a ton of compliments. I like to just show it over time. Okay. Mm. That's that's good because Actions mean so much more than words anyway. Yeah. I, yeah. If, if a guy gave me all these compliments and didn't follow through with his actions, it doesn't really mean anything. Exactly. It's and I worthless. don't. Exactly. And I don't like to say things unless I truly mean them. Me this, too. This is going to sound really bad, but even during sex, like, <laughs> I can't dirty talk. <laughs> really? Yeah. Someone's like, are you a dirty little whore? I'm like, well, no, I don't. I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, have you have you thought of they're like have you thought about dick today? No, not at all. <laughs> like I've just been really busy and stressed out. The opposite. <laughs> I, I swear to like, God, he said have you, he said you have you thought about my dick today? And you're like, no, I've had like t- twelve errands and I had to run the store yes! and work. And I, no, I haven't thought about your dick today. <laughs> and this is you so like, that? yes, and this is during sex because uh, that's. <laughs> It's it's me being me, <laughs> and then when I'm on camera, I'm playing a different character, so I can easily say whatever I want to because I don't think I'm I'm literally acting. But when it's me, I'm not acting. You're just so honest. <laughs> I'm weirdly honest. He's like, "Did you miss me?" And you're like, "Not really." Yeah, I'm no, no, I didn't. Really I didn't miss you. I've been really schedule. busy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I <laughs> say. So I say, I say, no, not really. I haven't really thought about it. I've been so busy all day. <laughs> well, I do really feel like that's part of it, though, of asking that question, like, oh, do you think of my dick today? Is really, did you miss me? Yeah, it's it's like a form of, like, love mm-hmm. for men, I yeah. feel like, oh, the I sexual will, side. Of I will validate the hell out of them. It's like not lying. I'm just like, I'm. it's during sex or whatever. Yeah. So do you think about me? I'm like, 
all day, baby. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I haven't stopped thinking. <laughs> I think about it too, literally. Like, I stop, I think, I'm like, no, I really, I didn't, no. <laughs> I'm like, I've, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm really, I'm, I'm in real, I'm like, I'm really busy. I got things to do. I think about like one thing at a time. Like, I can't, you know, I, you know, I told you I had a busy day. But I'm like, yes, I did. I, I couldn't sleep last <laughs> night. No. <laughs> Bitch, I was asleep by 7.30. Like, I'm, yeah. But that's so it's like 14 hours like a goddamn baby. Yeah. That's so much better though. <laughs> like I that is that is exactly what they want to hear. If, if, if I said to a guy, did, did you think about me? Did you miss me? And he didn't say yes, like quicker than I could even get the sentence out of my mouth, I'd be like, You're done. You're done. <laughs> like if a guy was like, No, I've had a, I've actually had like a, a you know, I had a really important meeting today and work was really fucking stressful and I almost like this, I'd be like I wasn't the most important thing. <laughs> I I wasn't the pri- your priority. I didn't. I wasn't the first thing you thought about in the morning. The last thing you thought about before you went to sleep. You're, you're done. You're just you're cut. Cut. This is not for me. This cut. isn't working for Lie me. Lie to me. Lie to me. Tell me on the top of your mind at all times. It's just. It's like you know that episode of Friends. I really hope people watching this aren't too young to have watched all the Friends episodes. Yeah. But where um um. Ross and Rachel explain to Chandler about how to talk to Janice. And they're like, Ross is saying, if a woman tells you, she, if a woman asks you, do I look fat in this? You say no. Yeah. yeah. Like, Before the sentence even is even out of her mouth. No. That's yes. it. No. Yep. And um, I think Rachel says, when a guy says, is this something to do with like his dick? Like, is this the, is this the biggest you've had or something? Yeah. And you say yes. Immediately, yes. Like those white lies. Why do you look like that? <laughs> I've been I've been asked specifically, "Am I the biggest dick you've ever had?" And I, during sex, did you tell me you lied? Please tell me you lied. No, no, no I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was. It was. Is mine the, your favorite dick you've ever had? Please tell me you lied. Please tell me you lied. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Mia. I don't do it maliciously, okay? Mia. Um I There is a time and a place for a white lie. I, I can't and I can't. the bedroom is it, okay? It makes me so uncomfortable. There's too much going on. I like I can't think of a lie. I I I am so I can't even imagine I, I, what a reality check having sex with you is. I said you're I, my I said no, you may be my third. Wow. I don't. <laughs> that's pretty good, though. <laughs> that, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> it's pretty good, right? I think it's a compliment. I'm like, gen- <laughs> like obviously, I, I love having sex with you. If a guy was like, you know, you're the hottest girl, or the pr- best girl I've ever been with, tell me that. Don't be like, eh, you're kind of like number three. I guess, <laughs> like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I can com- I completely understand. Would, would you want a guy to be honest with you in the bedroom? No. Mm. No. <laughs> I think that'd be terrible. If he was like, but you I can, have the I third can... best ass I've ever seen. Yeah, that would suck. Or if I'm like, do I look fat? Have I gained weight? Like, no. Yeah. Immediately, no. Yeah. The, I, you know, the thing is, though, is I'm not doing it maliciously. I genuinely. I don't know. It's like word vomit. I feel so uncomfortable not giving an honest answer. Mm. It's it's really, ugh. I don't know. I just I think <sighs> there's, like we've talked about this. I, I I'm not a good liar, but that it's like, that's like playing a role. That's like it's there's the you have one to, space you have in to the white bedroom, lie. and that's that's where it's acceptable to lie. You know, I don't know. You know why I don't want to do I, other places in the bedroom. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Because I feel like it's going to take away from my experience. Because <laughs> now I'm playing a character and I have to think about my responses instead of what comes naturally. <laughs> lie to me. Lie to me. That's all I'm going to say. Just a fucking lie to me. Flame my ego. Make my head like three sizes bigger than it already is. Just stop asking me questions. <laughs> or you don't want to or know the answer. That too. Yeah. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. You <laughs> yes, know? exactly. I'm I, not gonna. I'm not gonna say an unwarranted. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I do that too. I'm not like, I never ask men the questions. I'm not fully prepared for the yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah.
you know? I'm 100%. I'm, I'm the exact same way. I just want to clarify. Out to the bedroom, don't lie to me. <laughs> Drink lie. sex, lie your fucking ass off. Yeah. Okay? Lie. <laughs> like, that's it. thing is, is it makes the sex better too because you're validating. Everyone's getting hot and heavy. <laughs> you just make it no validation. <laughs> He's like, is this good? And you're like, yeah. Okay, I mean, I really wasn't in the mood today. <laughs> like, like, are you, like, are you gonna hurry up? Because like, I didn't want to do this already. Now what? you're taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. Oh no, I believe you. She can't lie at all. Like, this is her, just yeah. this is what I'm lying about. This. <laughs> My goodness. I know. Wow. I'm. Just... It's. I'm a little wow. terror to date. Have you always been like this, or you used to be a people pleaser and you just decided to go the route of radical honesty one day? I think I used to be a people pleaser. I don't remember. I mean, I always knew that I was definitely more of an honest person. Like, I've I've never been able to lie about other things. But in the bedroom, I used to role play all the time. And, yeah, I don't know what happened. I think I just uh, got cozy in my weird quirk. <laughs> I got cozy and I, I went and leaned all the way into it. You really leaned. Yes. <laughs> you didn't lean. You just fell I in went to the, and just I went made to the that extreme horn. version. Yeah, yeah set up. Like, this is Planned a flag and called a cam. Right. You know? <laughs> Brutal honesty. Brutal honesty. Because I'm I'm all about radical honesty with everything else, but just that is kind of just to be like, <laughs> you're the best. It's ever. not a good. It's not a good thing. It's not something I'm saying. I'm promoting. <laughs> like I know that it's a bad quality. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Just have all these women tonight. Just be like to their dudes. I didn't think about your dick at all today. It's <laughs> 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 not even on my top ten of things I was thinking about. <laughs> great great awesome. That, awesome stuff that's a good thing to end it on yeah oh before we go what was that jugular story so i was telling i was telling the whole room basically before we started filming we were talking about and this has to be a different segment because i do this way too often okay about sending the wrong message sending a message to the wrong person oh my god <laughs> It's just a re Thank you, thing. Thank you, Lipstick on me is teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. I do it all the time. And there's been some really bad ones, which I think, which I'm going to share at a later date on the podcast with, like, some influencers and celebrities and comedians. <laughs> Multiple? I just, I send messages to the wrong person. I just I don't think and I just, especially when I'm emotional. Yeah. Um. But this particular one, Mia and I are going away to Cabo together for a mutual friend's birthday. Mm. And we have, it's a big girls trip. It's like 20 girls going, which is impressive. Just trying to organize 20 girls to do anything at the same time. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've honestly, I've been packing for days now. Wow. You make, I love lazy, sunny. You've been packing for days? Vacations. Yeah. I take a full day to pack. I'm one of those, so I don't have a full day before I leave, so I'm packing now. And then usually I'll start putting things aside like the week before. Oh, God, I need to be more like you. <laughs> <laughs> the morning off, I just dump my whole wardrobe in there, hope for the best. I've got like snee sh- I got, I got snow s- shit in there, maybe one bikini. I have, you know, just things I'll never use. Um, but anyway, <laughs> trying to organize this trip, we're in a big group message, and I meant to text... I meant to text one girl in particular because 20 girls, there's there's a girl who I don't get along with going on the trip. Mm-hmm. And I was talking about her because I didn't want to go on the trip if she was going to go or, or I wanted to be prepared if she was going to go on the trip. Yeah. And I meant to text one, the girl whose birthday it was separately. Like I did not mean for this message to go to all 20 girls on the trip. I don't even know all the girls going on the trip. And I sent a voice message and I was so emotional and I was really mad. I did without thinking. And all I said was, let's call her Betty. Okay, Betty. I was like, if fucking Betty is going on the trip, you better tell her not to say anything to my face. If she wants to have a conversation, a civilized conversation, that's fine. But if she says one thing, one thing to my face, tell her I'll rip her fucking jugular out of my bare fucking hands. Press send. Went to 20 girls. Went to all the girls. I'm in that group chat though. I didn't see it. I didn't even know. The girl who I meant to text it to, she called me like five times in a row and she was like, delete it, delete it, delete it. I was like, delete what? And she's like, 
you sent that message to the entire group chat, not me. And just I just listened to it. She's like, you sound insane. You sound, <laughs> you sound insane. Delete it now. And thank God, thank God, Apple just came out with that feature that you can delete a message mm. within t- I think it's ten minutes of sending it. I didn't know about this feature. I. I deleted the message and just exited the group chat. There's nothing I could do. Oh. I removed myself <laughs> from the group chat and just and just bowed out, not gracefully. I was gonna say. Not, with, <laughs> not with any slice of dignity. It's actually worse than that. I think I had the message somewhere. It was it was like 40 seconds long. I'm so sad I missed <laughs> this. That would have been so much fun to read or to listen to. I'm really hoping Betty heard it like before it was deleted. Yeah, do, do you know if anybody <laughs> did hear it? She never said anything to me, but if someone said that I was that they were going to rip my juggler out, I wouldn't say anything to them either. Oh, no, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, let's just pretend that didn't happen, okay? And the thing is, like, I'm, I'm not a violent... Not a violent all confrontational person you can just like say things in the heat of the moment yeah i was just mad and i was like i'm a fucking rick for a job girl girl and i and you know what that isn't even the worst thing i've sent to the wrong person we'll get into that another time but we'll see how this trip goes because other people who are very very close to betty will also be on the trip mm. and they also might know that i want to rip her jugular out with my bare fucking hands so i may or may not come <laughs> oh, we hope you do. This weekend. Um, but yeah, that was, you know what? It's not even the worst message I've sent the wrong person, but it's up there. It's pretty bad. It's, lo- it's 20, 20. It's not just the wrong person. You sent it to 20. I sent it to 20 girls. I think it's 25. And you know how girls never forget any. <laughs> it's 25. It, I think it's it was 25. 25. I think it is. It's 25 girls. And you know how women never forget anything? Yeah. They're never gonna forget that. No. Like I wish women had the memory of like men sometimes or like goldfish. Yeah. Because I remember things my girlfriend said to me from years ago, and I would remember this, and I would never let it go. I do too. I I remember the things that I shouldn't remember that aren't important and don't help me in any way, shape, or form. But I uh, remember it word for word. So if if they're half as petty as I am, they would never forget this. And you know what, Betty? I meant every fucking word. Well. <laughs> If you need help, I'll be there with no my, little, my little fantasy book. I said, <laughs> like, I said I what I said. Fantasy books are usually behind. Thick. I said what I said. I'm standing <laughs> on business. And that's that. You know? It would be really funny to me if you guys actually just become best friends after this show. <laughs> there's absolutely no chance of that happening. And I don't hate anyone. And don't dislike or hate anyone. But there's absolutely zero chance of that happening. Yeah. <laughs> friends close. Enemies closer. Very close. Yeah. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> and that's him. Well, I'm excited. We, ha- we have to share another time about the worst messages we've sent to the wrong people. Yeah. Because mine are bad. Mine, mine are-, are really bad. Mine are so embarrassing. It's like I've sent a message to like a task rabbit and it's like been photos of like things to build plus like a semi nude. I'm like, fuck, I got on that. I, I want mine. I want my angry message. <laughs> but it's not intended for me. Yeah, I want one too. <laughs> we all need to get one eventually. Oh my goodness. It could be like a Christmas present. Thank you for watching Out of Bed with me and Gabby. It's a brand new show and we're really passionate about it and we're glad that you enjoy it as much as you do. Please be sure to rate us on iTunes. It would really help us. And don't listen to me. Even if you didn't like the show, lie to us. Give us five stars. You don't, yeah. <laughs> you know? Don't be honest. If you didn't like it. <laughs> like. <laughs>